Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do a glycolic lactic combination peel. If you have acne, if you have fine lines, if you have an uneven skin tone, if you have oily skin like mine, this combination peel is for you. So the main reason why I do this is because I have insanely embarrassing oily skin. It is super problematic. I'm one of those people where I can put on makeup, 30 minutes later, I look like I've been outside running for two hours. That's how embarrassing it is. And um, I, for a long time, I really had a complex on about how I look in makeup because I, I, it really just looks so bad. So when I found this combination peel, I was just so happy. I just want to share it with you guys. If you have seen my previous video on how to treat hyperpigmentation due to a chemical peel, then you know that I am not a stranger to chemical peels. And um, to segue into that, if you have ever, or if you're going through a situation where you have a chemical burn and it has, um, it's giving you hyperpigmentation or hypopigmentation, then check out this video right here. And it goes, it's a step-by-step -step on how I treated my hyper pigmentation due to a chemical pill that I did on myself. Um, if you have already seen that on the video or if you have not, you will know that I use a TCA pill. Uh, I'm just gonna say for me, TCA pills are not for people of color. It doesn't matter if you are light skin, doesn't matter if you're dark skin, there's a high risk of getting hyperpigmentation using that type of pill. And if, if you watch my that video, you'll know that it really told me up. <laughs> so I will never, ever, ever do a TCA pill ever again. Um, but the combination lactic and glycolic pill works wonders for me. Um, so if you would like to know how I do that, keep watching and let's go. All right, you guys. So the night before your combination peel, you really need to prep your skin. So as you can see here, to start off, I'm removing all of my makeup using my makeup wipes. To wash my face, I use the Clean and Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is the step one formula for sensitive skin. To help me with the exfoliation process, I use this electronic brush. It works wonders. I got it off of Amazon for like $8. It was $8 well spent. I would definitely recommend this to anyone. Do you see what I mean? Look at all the makeup and dirt it got off my face. It's just great. It's awesome. And from here, I just use a nice bath cloth to get the remainder of soap off my face. So when you finish cleaning your face, you can go ahead and choose a moisturizer of your choice. It doesn't matter which one you use. I end up choosing the Ambi Skincare Even and Clear uh, Daily Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Now we can let our skin rest and go to sleep. All right, so on the morning of, we're going to cleanse our face one more time prior to the actual combination peel. If you are using a washcloth to get the excess soap off of your face, try not to press down really hard because we don't want to exfoliate any further. To further prep our skin, we're going to use this pH prep solution that Makeup Artist Choice sends with their peels. And I'll leave their website down in the description box. 
MakeupArtistChoice.com is the website that I get all of my peels from. To start off, I'm going to use the 50% Glycolic Acid Peel. To apply it, you can use either a cotton ball, Q-tips, or you can use the cotton rounds like I'm using here. Let me add that if you are new to peels, please start off with a lower dosage. You're going to apply this to your entire face. If your face starts to tingle a little bit or get red, that's completely normal. If it starts to burn, that's not normal and you may need to end the peel immediately and try a lower dosage. When I'm finished applying the serum to my face, I'm going to start my timer. So after four minutes have passed, I'm going to go ahead and add my second peel, which is the 55% lactic acid peel. I'm going to apply it the same way I applied the first one, right on top of the glycolic peel. It took me about a minute to apply the lactic peel, so at 5 minutes we'll let it sit for another 2 minutes for a total of 3 minutes for this one peel. Altogether, the peel has been on my face for 7 minutes and it is now time to wash it off. To wash my face, I'm going to use the Clean and Clear Cleanser and a cotton round. I'm going to wet the cotton round and wash my face that way. I'm not going to use a back cloth because the back cloth is too rough, especially after this um, combination peel. I'm going to use the cotton rounds to dry my face as well. To further neutralize my skin, I'm going to use the pH prep. This just ensures that all of the peel has been removed from my face. The last step is to moisturize. I'm using the Ambi Even and Clear Daily Moisturizer. This has a sunscreen SPF of 30. Please make sure to use a lotion with sunscreen or sunscreen itself if you decide to leave your house after a peel. Your skin is really fresh and you don't want to burn it. You may experience some peeling within the first week. After the second week, there really is none at all. And that's all the steps that goes into it. So I hope this video was really informative for you guys. If you have oily skin, I know that if you try this, you will do this every six months. It really does help. Um, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.